welcome back and uh, so in this video we're going to start with uh, the development environment setup of uh, a complete ajax tutorial and then uh, we'll start with one by one example so here what uh, uh, software you have to install is you can choose any of the uh, editor uh, you can choose webstorm you can use sublime text or you can use uh, uh, vs code anything your choice and also uh, if you know the little bit of uh, bootstrap knowledge is well and good because uh, every front end I'm gonna use uh, is bootstrap okay and please note in this entire uh, tutorial I'm not using any of jQuery library okay because uh, we have not learned jQuery in this entire uh, story as of now so we are not using any jQuery we are just using a plain JavaScript of Ajax okay uh, so first of all we have to start with the uh, development environment setup so for that i will create a new folder sorry not new shortcut um new folder uh, ajax underscore tutorial okay okay and let me load this to your editor i'm actually using webstorm so you can choose any of your editor uh, file open paste okay okay so i have it here and uh, see here actually i'm using uh, bootstrap as a front end so you have download bootstrap and configure here so if you know bootstrap i think you know how to configure you have to connect to the bootstrap specific files like javascript files its files and all you have to uh, download and uh, uh, do a configuration so i have already a bootstrap folder so which contains uh, the series files and all js files and all so we just have to get this so i'll just copy the bootstrap folder and i'll just keep in in my ajax tutorial okay so it is indexing come on let's take a lot of time mm. yep so it's done uh, now first of all I just create uh, uh, a basic folder so let's create new so you can just right click new directory 01 underscore ajax underscore basics okay and uh, here I need to create one HTML and one JavaScript so let's create new HTML that is index and also I have to connect uh, one I mean I have to create a JavaScript file so new JavaScript I just give a name called app.js created uh, now first of all I need this to be a bootstrap structure so you can delete everything here you can do exclamation tab so that you get some uh, the meta tags of responsiveness of bootstrap and let me configure all the bootstrap specific uh, CS files so bootstrap css files uh what does that is link uh i will connect to uh, dot dot slash my bootstrap folder slash series folder slash so font awesome and then we have to connect to the uh bootstrap dot css and then uh, mdb dot css and i have my own styles dot css for local uh, styles and title uh, ajax uh, basics fine and this is ready and we have to connect to javascript files so let's add a comment bootstrap js files so here i write a script um, src dot dot slash again bootstrap folder slash js folder slash um, First, uh, jQuery you have to connect because uh, why jQuery is we are using bootstrap as a front end so uh, for that it is required and uh, next uh, popper but we are not using any jQuery code here popper and uh, we have to connect to the bootstrap.js and also mtb.js and finally one important thing is application specific application js file so what are this application js file is we're going to write a new javascript so we have to connect that so um here 
app.js so this is the place where we're going to write a ajax source code um fine so i think it looks good so let me test this out so i just create a button with the class called btn btn minus primary button let's say hello hello ajax okay so i have created a button but so i have to check uh, is that bootstrap is successfully connected or not uh fine uh and one more thing i'm going to use a live server so that uh, you don't need to refresh the browser every time so let me go to terminal i say uh live minus um server iphone iphone porch 9000 okay fine ajax basics yes so i can see a, a bootstrap button so if you can see this bootstrap button like hello ajax like this it means yes you have done a successful configuration of bootstrap setup and also your java search fine and you want to cross check the javascript go to javascript you can write a simple uh, uh, console log console.log of welcome to ajax it's normal console log i have to check the uh, javascript connection and where can you see the console log is you can inspect and uh, go to console yes welcome to ajax from your app.js line number one so if you can see this yes you have a successful connection of uh, development environment setup for ajax okay and from the next video let's start with ajax basics okay thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you